Hello friends, how are you doing? Today in this video we will learn together how to apply for visa for Indonesia step by step. In this video we will be explaining the visa policy of this country, how to fill the application form, how and where to apply for the visa, all travel rules due to COVID-19, all the required documents that you will need while applying, and in the end we'll ask you a question that we will discuss together in the comments. So make sure you watch this video till the end. But before we start, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and if you have any inquiry or question, please write it down there in the comment section below. So if we look together at the visa policy map of Indonesia, we will find that Indonesia is one of the countries that opens its borders for almost all the countries of the world is except a few countries so it gives free visa for 30 days for all the countries of north america south america almost all the asian countries except yemen iraq syria and pakistan russia all european countries and almost all african countries except uh, ethiopia um sudan and some few countries so in general you are not required to apply for visa but in case you are pakistan or you are ethiopian i will teach you how to apply uh, for visa uh, from uh, the indonesian embassy in your country and uh, of course because of covid 19 there are some new regulations uh, due to the visa we will learn about those regulations and how to fix all these regulations by yourself so you can travel to indonesia so if we look together at the consulate general of the republic of indonesia in los angeles united states of america this notice this new notice is valid for all the countries for all international travelers because they have some restrictions uh, for traveling like um, you need to uh, to prove that you have a person in indonesia who will uh, be able to like um, to guarantee you or be inviting you but now they are saying that effective on the uh, 12th of january 2022 the government of the republic of indonesia has reopened indonesia for international tourists so it's really clear uh, please see visa entry into indonesia for more information and regarding to covid 19 foreign travelers must show a negative bt pcr test result in the country of region of origin which samples were taken within maximum period two days before the departure uh, time so uh, either you are vaccinated or not you will have to will show that PCR uh, test and in case you are vaccinated like two doses or, or more you will be quarantined for one day if you are vaccinated only for uh, one uh, dose so you will be uh, uh, quarantined for seven days and there are like no informations about those who are not vaccinated but mostly it will be also uh, seven days so those are the regular uh, regulations now the only restrictions according to uh, the web uh, site here and i'm sure that the same regulations are the same for all the international uh, travelers no matter uh, what your country is and let's move for pakistanis and how could they apply for the visa so in case if you are applying from pakistan or ethiopia or from any country that needs a visa to enter uh, Indonesia we will speak about two types of visas the first one is a single entry visa and the second one is an electronic visa so for the single uh, entry visa you will just need to fill the application form and to take all the required documents that we will be mentioning in the end of this video and you will have just to go to the embassy and there you will have to apply for the visa by yourself uh, if you want to look at a copy of the application form this is a copy of the application form but it is from stockholm i tried to find a copy uh for like with details of pakistan but the application form is the same you will just need to delete this section and to fill this application form starting with the personal information travel document information travel itinerary travel information sponsorship in indonesia and other information personal statement and you will have to write the date and your signature and here is a part for your photograph so this is the first type of a visa that you can apply normally through 
the embassy but there is also something else the electronic uh, visa the e-visa uh, this is a kind of visa that you can't apply by yourself you need an, a sponsor or a person in indonesia to apply in your behalf so the only thing you need in this visa to have a sponsor in indonesia and you have to ask the sponsor to go to this sites you can see the site it's all the indo in the indonesian language in the bahasa language and they will have to fill uh, this uh, application in your uh, behalf to give their details your details and then uh, that visa will be issued for you in case you are a pakistani or from any country who need this kind of e visa and of course you will have to follow uh, all the uh, like medical protocols due to covid 19 but the problem for some of you is how to get uh, a sponsor in indonesia because as we can see uh, even we have read that they have updated uh, the regulation of travel uh, that from the beginning of 12th uh, January 2022 all tourists all tourists are welcome but in the site uh, in Islamabad Pakistan they are there are still giving uh, these regulations for uh, travelers from uh, Pakistan that you need to um, have a sponsor in Indonesia so first I will ask you to ask directly in uh, the embassy to phone them to call them by phone to ask them if these regulations are valid or not but in case these regulations is still valid and you still need a sponsor let me give you some tips on how to find a sponsor in indonesia so some people can find the sponsors in indonesia through uh, social media through uh, facebook groups or instagram but in case you don't know how uh, these sites might be helpful like for example couch surfing you can find once you um, create an account you will be able to contact people from all over the world so you can contact some people from indonesia and ask them to fill uh, this and in inviting uh, this invitation for you and there's also another site interbals and interbals is uh, a social media website where you get to know new friends you will find people from all over the world you can also find people from um, indonesia and you can also ask them to fill this form uh, in your behalf and invite you to indonesia and you might find some people who will will be willing to do uh, this invitation for you so what are the travel documents that you need to prepare before applying for the visa speaking about your passport your passport must be original and it must not be older than 10 years with at least six months of remaining validity and with at least two blank visa pages for the stamps in many cases you will need also a passport photocopy it might be one copy or more than one and it's preferred to be colored and both data page and photo page must be shown if separated in some cases you might be required to photocopy every single page of your passport but in general only the data page and the photo page are the needed ones speaking about the personal pictures you will need at least two personal pictures sometimes only one is needed other times three pictures are needed but in general they are only two they must be new not older than six months it should be clear and show your full face and it is preferred to be with white background and you should give normal and neutral expressions no head or face covering is acceptable except for religious reasons speaking about the visa application form in general cases you need only one copy of the visa application form but sometimes you might be required to submit two copies or even three visa forms are different from a country to another in general cases you should print it and fill it manually but many countries now are providing their application form in an online platform so you can fill the application form online and after that you can print it and sign it anyway for the application form you just fill it as we do in the video in most of the visa application processes you will be required required to provide a proof of status for example if you are an employee you will have to provide a letter from your employer or from your HR department mentioning your name your work detail and your salary and both address and contact numbers should be mentioned also in that letter and all letters must have an original signature and a stamp but in case you are the owner of the company or you run your own business then your commercial registry and your tax card must be presented but if you are a student in a school or a college an enrollment letter should be provided from your university or your school in some certain cases you might be applying from a country different than your own country 
country. At that moment, you will need to provide a proof of a legal status, which is a certificate of legal residence in this country. And in some cases, a valid residence visa for this country can be also accepted. You will also need to provide a proof of sufficient funds, which is a bank statement stating your balance for at least six months. The original bank statement must show your name and should be signed and stamped by the bank representatives. And remember that cash will not be accepted as a proof of fund. You should also provide a flight reservation. It could be an initial booking, but in some minor cases, you will need to provide a confirmed booking. And remember that this flight reservation must include a return ticket. So let me show you a short tutorial in how to book your flight. And we will use this site, skyscanner.net. All right, starting with our site, this part is a little bit boring, but we will see what we can do. First, you have to select what type of a flight you want a return flight like two ways going and returning or one way flight or multi-city and let me show you an option if you would like to change the language you can change it from here you can choose your language you can choose your country you can choose your currency whatever fits you all right so assuming that you have for example a travel plan you're moving between different cities so you can choose this multi-city option you can add different cities here and you can adjust your date, date of arrival date of departure and you can book all these tickets at once which is a very great option but let's just assume you are moving from only one city to another and you want to have a return of flight going and turning back so uh, assuming you are going from istanbul of course you can choose whatever you want if it's an istanbul or surat or whatever airport it is and returning what is your uh destination where are you going you're going to delhi or you're going to uh, tbilisi or uh, or whatever georgia sorry georgia tbilisi and here you will have to choose your departure date and here you'll have to choose your return date and here you have to choose your cabin class are you going on economy class premium economy business class first class or what and you're an adult okay you have any children with you all right and here okay now you can search flights once you click search flights all the flights will appear in front of you you can choose whatever flight you want you can go with the best or the cheapest or the fastest but it's almost the same here but of course the price will change depending on the destination and also it will change depending on the date so let's click this uh, flight for example and now will appear in front of us let's check the details of this flight and for this flight you can book it from different sites you can uh, book it directly from skyscanner or you can go to any of those sites to book it but yeah we will book it from skyscanner it is the cheapest anyway let's click book but wait before booking let's see the details of each flight okay it's a direct flight from istanbul to tbilisi and it's a direct flight from tbilisi to istanbul so by clicking on these arrows you can see the details of each uh, flight let's click book and here you can see the dates okay you're going departure okay going returning and the date and now click book so once you click booking your trip appears in front of you and the total price appears in euros why because they set their prices here in euro and sky scanner so now you can see the details okay you have one cabin page you have one checked page now let's click next and see more about the details and the checkout so in the end what you need to do is to add a contact details which is an email and a phone number and after that you will have to add a traveler which is your name your middle name your last name and in the end you will have to click bay and by clicking bay you can do your payment and congratulations you booked your flight you will also need to provide a proof of accommodation it could be a confirmed hotel reservation or an invitation from a host in this country or an invitation from an organization you are visiting in this country for a hotel or hostel an initial booking is acceptable but in some minor cases you might need to provide a confirmed booking and anyway the name of your hotel must be mentioned and the address and the contact number but in case you are invited by a person either the letter of invitation should be mailed 
directly to the embassy or to be submitted by you accompanied by a copy of the passport of that inviting person there are different sites that you can use to book a hotel or a hostel but let me show you a fast tutorial how to book your hostel from booking.com so this is our site booking.com first you have to specify where are you going let's say i'm going to istanbul i want to have istanbul okay i'm traveling okay for example check in okay let's say at that date and check out let's say at that date and i want one adult one room and let's click search all right by clicking search okay they are giving me all the locations and they are giving me the price here in egyptian pound let's assume i would like to change my currency i will change my currency from here i will choose usd dollars and now the prices are here usd dollars for the full period those things in this side will help you for your choice you can filter by your budget or your popular filter or health and safety whatever interests you more star rating whatever it is but there is an interesting option here also that you can arrange all of these things depending on price if you are uh, a low budget traveling person so we can rearrange it according to price lowest first and let's see the price lowest first for the full period and you can see that we are having very good prices in somehow okay good quality also we can see also we can check for better quality okay still good price for very good quality let's check availability okay i like that one it looks old and only five beds left at this price so you are booking a bed in dormitory and one bunk bed see availability once you click see availability the whole apartment or the whole place appears in front of you you can see all the details of this place and you can here start choosing the availability like you can like change the dates and the most popular facilities here that non-smoking rooms free wi-fi 24 hours front desk terrace and heating also because sometimes istanbul gets very cold they are also giving you here some selections like for example bed in male dormitory room and you can see all the details here like okay air conditioning free wi-fi shower toilet uh, heating hair dryer and of course if you want any other option like comfort double or twin room or classic double or twin room or standard travel room whatever you want but let's just go for the cheapest and select only one bed you can select of course more than one bed and they give you different things like free cancellations and no prepayment needed you can pay directly at the property so if you in case you would like to cancel it they are giving you a specific time and a specific date in that date till that date you are free to you are, can cancel this booking for free just click i will reserve once you click i will reserve here you are filling your details they are giving all the booking details it is for four nights and this uh, price is 35 dollars and here you will have to enter your details all your details and bid in mail dormitory room okay you'll have to give your full name and if you have any special request or something and also here give your arrival time so you have just to review all these parts and in the end you will click final details by clicking final details you will review again all your details and you will confirm your booking once your booking is confirmed you will receive an email in your email like that stating the check-in details as a check-out detail as the duration of a stay the phone number and the address of the place and all the details and this is the 
page that you will have to print and take with you to the embassy while applying for the visa. Many countries also, especially the Schengen area countries, require you to provide a traveling insurance. And you have to be careful and to apply through the companies that are accepted officially in these countries. For example, in case for Schengen area countries, there are some certain specifications for this travel insurance. Like the insurance coverage must be at least 30,000 euros. And in general cases, you can apply for this insurance online. Now let's look together as a travel insurance company. Those are some travel insurance companies. You can use any of those websites to apply for the travel insurance. But since I know that travel insurance is a little bit confusing for most of people, I selected two companies and we will see together how to apply for travel insurance through those two companies. Applying for travel insurance is quite confusing for many people but here i selected the site europeinsurance.eu and let's see how to apply for travel insurance first you have to select your main destination in europe which is i selected france the start date the end date let's say you're just staying for one month and you want this insurance for one month and here you write your date of birth then get a quota okay so now there are two types of travel insurance the first one is basic and it costs 19 uh, the 19 euros per month and it covers more than 60 thousand euros which is required because for travel insurance you have to apply for something more than or equals to 30 thousand euros so i will select this one and here if you want to extend but just let's keep it like that for this basic one i will select it over here and now i will have to fill my details my the insured person my name and the policy holder also if it is the same person though the same also details my own details and important statements just some statements and in the end you will get to the payment so this travel insurance uh, which will cover more than 60 thousand euros for one month it's just only 19 euros let's check another site which is axashengen.com which is quite expensive uh, site and here they give you different periods like for Schengen low uh, cost, Schengen Europe travel, Schengen multi trip, get a quota. Okay, so for the prices here, okay, let's first you need to click get a quota over here for the cheapest one. Okay, and here they will ask you the Schengen low cost. Um, they will ask you about the start date and the end date of your travel. So my first date is this one, All right? 12. And my last date, let's say, will be 11th of April. Also for one month and this one for 31 days. And it's a little bit, it's not a little bit expensive. It is expensive and it covers uh, only up to 30 thousand euros but you know the difference is sometimes about um the rate of the company and uh, also uh, the categories they are uh, covering in that travel insurance but here i'm just showing you how to oh, choose how how to apply because this is because choosing the category uh, the options is something depending on you but many people are just having some problems what is the travel insurance how to apply through the travel insurance so all these other details i will leave to you i'm just showing you how to apply through the site and what is the real cost uh, of the travel insurance by saying 30 thousand euros we don't mean that you should have this balance in your bank or to prove that you have it because some people think uh, so those who are not really having experience with travel insurance then here you click continue and after you click continue you click here for the subscriptions you will have to fill all your details and after filling your details you will um, make your payment and in the end you will get a confirmation of your travel insurance and that's how you apply for travel insurance through this website so let me ask you a question do you think that travel to indonesia or to any other destination will return back normal again or restrictions will still be there please write your uh, answer down there in the comment section and see you in the next video